we want to evaluate the indefinite integral using the substitution method or determine the antiderivative using substitution. I think it might be helpful if we rewrite this as the integral of sine x squared times cosine x dx. In this form, it should help us determine u. If we're trying to decide if u should be sine x or u should be cosine x, notice that we have the sine function raised to the second power, and when we have a function raised to a power, we almost always let u equal the inner function. So here we'll let u equal sine x. So differential u would be equal to cosine x dx. If u is equal to sine x, this would be u squared. And then notice that we're left with cosine x dx, which is equal to du. So writing this in terms of u, we would just have the integral of u squared du, which is a very straightforward integral. We would have u to the third divided by three plus c. But of course, we need our function in terms of x. So we'll write this as one third. And then u is sine x, so we'll write sine cubed x plus c as our antiderivative. We'll take a look at one more example of integration by parts involving trig functions in the next video.